Hey guys, Critic here coming to you from Queenstown where uh, there's a power outage at this time in this area and that is mainly because as you see in the background here GPL in collaboration with the MNCC are doing clearing of trees that actually get into the way and cause a bit of an impediment to the power supply. Um, we're going to be talking to the man on the ground here for GPL, Mr. Edinburgh, and he's going to give us a little bit of an idea of what's going on. I know um, I actually am one of the persons who are facing a bit of discomfort as a result of the, um, the power supply being down at this time. But when I come and see what's going on, what's needed, you can't go with people them working, cutting trees and all them things now and then they get electrocuted in the process. So GPL has a major presence here because they got all the um, heavy equipment. If you can see that another truck just come here, just show them that runner. So there's another truck on the ground here just come and these trucks are used to get um, workers with the chainsaws and so on and cutlasses and so on up in the trees to get these trees cleared and not be in the way of the power lines because what happens when you got hard breeze when you got serious weather and when these trees and the limbs drop they end up dropping on the power line and it will affect you negatively and again then the power supply is cut off and repairs has to be done unlike how the distribution of power has just been stopped for a period of time to facilitate this uh, maintenance here um, if you come a little close here is using this opportunity also to guide in the tree and see heavy branches falling from the top so you, can't, you can't do this operation and still have the electricity supply in the line and if you look at the top GPL is using this opportunity. They're using this opportunity to um, do some maintenance work with some lines and so on to a transformer here. But you see the guys chopping the trees and trying to get the limbs that are in the way of the power lines. If you look at it, as they, they chop the limbs, the power lines are shaking. So it's very important to get rid of that. Um, we're going to talk to uh, uh, Mr. Edinburgh, the man who's in charge on the ground here, and he'll give us a better understanding of what GPL exactly is doing here at this time. And this is all with the intention of you understanding why you don't, and this affects me too. My office, by the way, is in Queenstown, in Ohlone Street. So this is affecting me directly, because I was in just this. ACs off, I started sweating, I said, my here, what's going on? Let me find out what's going on and better able, enable you to understand why you're not having electricity supply at this time. Mr. Edinburgh, thanks for your time. Um, just to start in, your, your name for the public, do you understand? And your position with GPL mm -hmm. and a little bit of what's going on here. All right, no problem. Uh, pleasant good morning to you, critic viewer. Um, what we have here going on right now is um, a vegetation management exercise. Um, it is part of a beautification project in central Georgetown where we have a collaboration between MNCC and Gynor Power and Light. Um, this project um, brought in from an initiative with the president, uh, various ministers and stakeholders of both public and private sector. Um, I am Jamal Edinburgh, the point person selected as a representative of um, GPL and MNCC. We carry out an exercise in five sections of Central Georgetown. Why we carry out this exercise? Basically, MNCC, when they conduct their tree trimming exercise, there is a, they are a bit afraid to approach the power cable for safety reasons, right? So they will just tr uh, trim a section of the line 
and that is it. Um, as it pertains to GPL, we conduct vegetation management exercises as well. And we primarily focus on just what is intruding on the line. So the tree kind of left on balance. So with this collaboration between GPL and MNCC, they can able to conduct a thorough work um, in this section. As I mentioned before, it's basically five sections of Georgetown where you can see this exercise. First, we have the Ornock Street between Lamaha and Laluni Street. Right, we have four more sections. Um, the next one is being conducted Saturday coming on Coral Street between uh, Cam Street and what I say, Light Street and Cam Street, right where we have a uh, major vegetation on that um, corridor that needs. And this here, even though it's a beautification um, project. The collaboration is needed um, a very long time ago. Uh, we know the Christmas season is approaching. So it's not just vegetation, but we're taking the opportunity in this house with where GPL personnel will do basic um, crimping and servicing like you went over there, your check, crimping and servicing um, of the transformer. We take the opportunity in doing line transfer in that area so we can maximize the outage. Right? Um, you said four, you, you, you listed two. Yeah, listed two, so I'll get in there. Yeah. We have um, Carmichael Street, right? That is the vicinity um, of the president, yeah. right? We have some vegetation work that we need to um, conduct there from both opposite uh, Woodlands Hospital and at the, at the State House and the Garden. We have some vegetation work that we need to um, conduct there. We have um, on Young Street, right? We have on Young Street that is um, between Camp Road and rabbit walk, right? That is where part of the museum is. Oh, those, okay. those trees, yes, yes, yes. those trees there. Yes, we got to do some um, some collaboration to get some vegetation clearing there as well. And last, we have um, oh, that one was Nart Road between Avenue Republic and Water Street. Okay. Yeah, but Young Street between um, Camp Road and Warburg Park is where the police headquarters is, where the oh, bearing ground. Okay. Really bearing wrong in those trees, they're yes. intruding in our um, network. So that is just a collaboration, and um, this is how the work will be on. Um, As you're saying, um, your representative of GPL, I want to tell you about it, you represent, mm. well, right? yeah, yeah, represent yeah. well. Right, you represent well. So you heard from Mr. Edinburgh what's the, what, what exactly is going to Look how this place clear up. Look how mm. this whole area here clear up. That tree was impeding the transformer. Next thing, um, brush would have grown and, and you got jamming areas. You know water is a conductor of electricity, right? So imagine rainfall and a stick there across, the wet stick and all that. Those things could cause problems. Them guys still working here. So just for you to get to understand the seriousness of what's going on here. They got a guy with a chainsaw 50 feet up in the air, right? So when you're wondering and you're looking at the discomfort that you have as a result of the outage of electricity, you gotta watch the fact that do you want to be watching your TV with your nice electricity and your your AC and then you see him for the news a man get shack up on it and dead while he's trying to set up a for you area. No. So um you know we're looking at the pros and cons and I'm hoping in the future there'll be methods of doing these things that we will not be affected um by uh, disconnections of our electricity supply. Right? So So, the Gainage Critic is coming to you from Kingstown again, um, just to give you an update of what GPL is doing that has caused a disruption to your electricity supply this morning.